Hi, this is a three part video series regarding how to access Google API using Power Automate. So the first thing we need to do here is first we need to set the authentication. So here I am going to set up the OAuth 2.0. So there are a couple of things we need to uh, set up before we go go and start building the Power Automate HTTP calls. Okay, so here is the documentation regarding the OAuth 2.0. So for that, you need to go to developers.google.com identity slash protocols OAuth 2, 2.0. Okay, and there is a diagram Google has provided. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to request a token and then it will prompt for a user login and consent. Once that is done, that will return the authorization code in the browser itself. So the first part, we need to do it in the browser. Then the second part, we need to pass the code, then the client ID and the client secret to get the authentication token. Then from there, we will get the refresh token as well. So using the refresh token, we can call uh, lots, we can call the respective uh, Google API calls to access the resources. Okay. So for this video series, I'm going to show you how to get the authorization code. So for that, we need to go to console.cloud.google.com and we need to create a new project. So I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to, I'm going to call the project name demo okay demo power automate google api okay and uh, create so that's done the next thing i need to uh, do here is i i need to set create a credentials so for that i'm going to create credentials so here see you can set api case or auth client id service account so for this video series i'm constantly concentrating on OAuth client id this is quite a popular authentication method okay so for this i'm going to set the web application so application type is the web application so the name name of the application i'm going to call power automate http google api okay the next thing we need to do here is the authorized redirect urls so that means uh, where the request is coming from so for us the request is uh, coming from the Power Automate. So the redirect URI for the Power Automate is this, https global.consent.azure-apim.net slash redirect, okay? And next, I need to set create. Okay, so I have got a client ID and a client secret. So I'm going to copy uh, these two values in a notepad. Okay, that's done. So that's it. Right, next, uh, because I, uh, I already created the project er earlier, you need to, if you're setting up the very first time, you need to set the OO the consent screen. So for that, I'll show you what I did. You need to put a name of the uh, app name. So um, I just call here as a PA Google Drive. So later on, I'm going to show you how to access the Google Drive uh, APIs. So I'm going to call here app information as Google Drive. And uh, you need a user support email ID there. And uh, then save and continue that. That's all you need to do here. 
okay then there is uh, there are you, you can specify the scopes so i'm going to i'm not going to mention any scope here i'll show you there is another way you can do that uh, directly using the url you can do that yeah and then again save and continue that again this is all optional so you can uh, you know just um, ignore all that okay now there is one thing i found out during the testing is uh, when i when i when i was trying to access the uh, the api for the code the authentication code i i there was an error i got the error it was saying the ap the api uh, the pa google drive app is still under uh, testing contact the developer that's the error message i got so i changed that to production then it's all start working so i don't know if there is any limitation regarding that if somebody knows please comment comment in the comment section okay so that's the setup you need to do for the app as well right so so far we did the um, the o or consent screen make sure this is got important change to production that and um, then the credentials so the credentials you need to create click on the create and then you get the client secret and the client id there and make sure you need to set the authorized redirect uri which is the this is this is uh, the uri we need to use for the power automate okay now the next thing we need to do here is we need to call the we need to get the code remember this diagram so first we need to request the token then we need to then uh, google will google will prompt a user login and consent and that's that's the way we will get the authorization code so remember this is all a manual job we can't automate this this is quite important here to remember we can't automate this using any apis or programmatically you need to do this manually okay so to get the authorization code there is there is a, a bit of a format we need to follow so i'll show you that next okay so to get the code we need to execute uh, this http url along with the scope there are a couple of parameters here and explain one by one so for that the documentation we need to follow here is uh, it's the same url go to the for server side web apps and here you can see the there is an example sample or auth to server response okay so what i did here is i used postman here okay so in postman what i did here is and i put the url that is accounts.google.com slash o2 slash v2 slash auth then i put the query parameters as scope so the scope here i'm going to use is i mentioned earlier i'm going to demo how to access the google drive api so for that i specify the scope here so i'll show you the scope in a minute here so there's a documentation regarding um identity protocols or auth2 scopes i'll mention all these urls um, in my video description okay so for the scope if you look for um google drive drive api here it is so for that the scope i'm going to use here is the metadata dot read only okay so you can choose uh, you know whichever one you want if you want to edit or create or delete a specific file using the api you need to use this scope okay so the scope is uh, very important here okay so that's my scope okay the next is access type i'm setting as offline then included granted scopes that is set to true response type is code state is state parameter pass through value so that means you can execute this and pass it to another the next url actually that means it will pass to your uh, the redirect url uh, which then you can consume it in your uh, program automatically if you want so that's the idea for this state parameter pass through code value then the redirect uri that is the one which i mentioned earlier and the client id which i just shown you how to obtain the client um, client id so if i click on send here i will get an error
click send let me have a look oh, okay sorry there is no error here yes, but I, it's asking me to enter the the consent here but inside the postman i can't able to click on next see that even if i enter my um, my email or phone number i won't be able to uh, click next here so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to copy the whole url here then paste that in your browser so this is what you need to do first we need to construct this url using uh, these values and then paste that in the in your browser url and press enter here it is so now it is asking you know um, enter your authentication so let's go back to the diagram which we uh, seen earlier there it is so i request the token then um, for request token see that um the, when i request that token then it's consent the asking the user login and consent and once that consent is done it says it uh, pass me back the authorization code okay so that's what that means it's prompting that remember this is a manual process click uh you know enter your credentials and then click on advanced and say there's a warning here saying the google has hasn't verified this app that's okay i know which uh, you know this is uh, my app only i know uh, you know all this information it's me only here so i'm going to say go to um, you know um, azure dash apim.net this is our redirect uri click next and then it will say you know you this app that is this is our power automate one go into access and i want to access your google account um, to continue that that's my redirect URI, which I mentioned. Yeah. So once I'm done, see that it's returned something here. It says fail to create a redirect URI because I'm not in Power Automate. That's the reason it's saying that. You know. But using Power Automate, you can't you can't execute this uh, uh, this using a get command. You know, you will get an error there. Uh, so this is uh, this is very much a, a manual uh, job you need to do here to get the code. Okay. So I'm going to copy this and uh, show you what uh, the result is going to be like here it is so if i open this you can see see my redirect uri that was that that's my application redirect uri i put then the state equal state parameter pass through the value it said that's one that is state then the code equals this so this code is quite important here code equals up to the scope see that so we need to copy this and uh, this is where we need we we need to use this code to get our authentication token that's our bearer token we need to get next to access the api okay so this is the first part to uh, sh uh, shown here that how to access the google api and the first part is regarding how to get the code okay in my second video series i will show you using this code how we can access the access token the bearer token thank you for watching